Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Legend of Anna. This is your host, Akalis. When last we left off, we had just visited the Gatoless Grottos <coughs> and met a few new interesting characters like Rubens and a few more Sproutlings and the priestesses of the Temple of Healing. What we're going to do now is a little bit of shopping and see if anything has... Oh yeah! We had a mission to inspect the... Um, uh, the goings-on here in town. Evidently there's some trouble with pumpkins or something. Hmm. Duel is missing. How about it, Tipo? I may not look it, but I'm a jewel collector. I'm so tired from bouncing around all day. So get out, why don't you? Be proud of your teapottiness. You're a beautiful woman. You shouldn't be agoraphobic. Ain't it tea time yet? I dread to think of what happens at tea time. Um... Steve, was it? I thought getting Rachel a job would help cheer her up. Uh, was, yeah, she you said that before. To the shop. Knight of Yemma. Yes! I have 120 dollar. I need... Your boots! Can I buy a... Spears are expensive. What do we have to sell you? Total defense of five. Clear feathers. I don't think we can do anything with clear feathers or aroma feather. It's not like. We won't come across clear feathers in the future. I seem to have more of them. Moss. And they said taco bugs were expensive. They're really... kind of a joke compared to everything else I've got. Let's see. That's really all we need. And a spear. That's what I got. I'm gonna buy gloves just because I like them. Alrighty. Let's gear up. Halberberberk ahead him. And now, we've got boots! Protect us from slice damage and stab damage. Doesn't have any elemental qualities to it. Uh, power level of equipped weapon. I don't know what that symbol is. Looks cool. Jump and retreat. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to lunge and retreat. That way we learn a forward roll. Did we get any other STs? No magical spells yet. Alright. Our business here is done. It would be a good idea, actually, to save. And this is the hotel we didn't go to last time. I believe so. Oh, yes! Mama Chocobo! Meh! Meh! I want to talk to you, Mama Chocobo. Please, feel welcome. Miss Yuka, the keeper of this inn. This is Mr. Moti, who appears in all of the Seiken Densetsu series of mana games. And compared to all the other games, he's really lax right now. Or 
or sh she. Well, it's it's Mr. Moti specifically in this game. Uh, I don't really know what benefit sleeping in inns has in this game, or if you can even do it. I can save, which I'd like to do right now. Yeah, go for it. Rainbow fluid. Excellent. Let's talk to the little chicky doo here. That's my little pee wee. He's quite fragile, so please leave him be, or I will peck your soul out. Uh, excuse me, Miss Yuka, ma'am. What's in here? Guest room, and that's for me. <laughs> okay, let's weigh the logic of what I just found. The proprietor of this hotel is a bird. I go to the first room and what do I find? Probably someone who owed her money. Anything up here? Nope. It's a bathroom. As another student from Geo, who is also selling minerals around here, no, I want none of your cursed gems. Don't need them yet. Let's leave alone. Oh, we've saved. Anything going on here at Rachel's bar? Amanda and Barrett's. Barrett is the name of her dad, and Amanda is her mother, I believe. What's up? Ah, uh, yeah, you're too sophisticated to... Hey, look! It's Christian Bale. Hey, how's it going? Pearl! Uh, if I offer to help him, he won't leave me alone, and I'll have to go on his quest. I'll leave him alone for now. How dare you! Away with you! You're the worst of us! You're exactly what the city doesn't need! Eh, uh, out of the way. To the village square, you see. This guy's Capella, and I remember this kid's name, it's Diddle. And they are grooving along to the beat. Capella moves, shuffling his feet. There's Miss Pelican with the skinny on the goings on here in town. My jobity job is to deliver a wiver mail! But the pumpkins are hairy scary! Pumpkins, you say. Animated humanoid pumpkin people? Not outside the realm of possibilities for the world of mana, so let's just see what's going on back here. Oh shit! That is groovy. <laughs> but stop laughing like that, Lisa. You and I will rule the world as brother and sister. All those pathetic beings will bow before us. Come, let's go together. <laughs> rule the world with pumpkins as air. Can I get in on this uh, pumpkin party? Hey! You! Get into my pumpkin! Kneel before Bud, the malignant, if you know what's good for you! Why not get your pumpkins to do it? Okay, right after we teach this scum a lesson. Scum, you say? Jeez, we need to cool off. This actually is a kind of annoying battle. While Bud tries to hit you with his uh, frying pan, She will cast magic spells. Oh. Ah, this is gonna be annoying if I don't start comboing these guys. Woo! That sucked. Maybe I should have gotten somebody to help me out. Let's 
Excuse me. Oh. All right. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not down with that. Time for mine. Round four. I hit nothing. Whoop. Sorry, you're not allowed to do that. Aha! Mighty Javelin! Here we go! No, I don't think so. No, no me magic for you. Ah! Got turned around. This is pushing it a bit. Almost there! Sorry, Lisa. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I'm confused. Not confused enough to not pull this off. Of course, he's just going to step two inches to the side and totally avoid my attack. Come here, you little bastard. Ah, good guard. Uh. I can do this. One more hit. That ought to do it. Wow! No way! Please, make me your apprentice! I'm so sorry about my little brother, Bud. My name's Lisa. Yeah, I got that. Bud is such a prankster. Do I want to take them on a quest? It's not like they won't be around. As a matter of fact, when I leave this place, I think they actually invade my house. So, they'll be around quite a bit. Do I want to quest with Christian Bale, or do I want to quest with these kids? Where am I going next? Uh, I think the next quest actually involves Christian Bale. I didn't think so. Well then, we'll be leaving. Clean up your damn pumpkins when you're gone! The little Zorkerverse. That quest is complete. Don't take us back to the map screen. Don't. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the uh, restaurant, I think this is. We're gonna pick up El Azul, and then we're going to the cave stage. Let's do it. Let's go! Well, that didn't take a whole lot of coaxing. Move your ass! And who are of Domina? We're gonna save real quick. I know who you are. I didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, where? There we go. Tube control. Yes, you can have another player control El Azul if you like. Um, Wait a minute. The next quest doesn't involve El Azul. It involves the children. Excuse me, kids. I'm just passing through. I hope they're still there. Sorry, Christian. I must deny you now. Look! A monster egg! Oh. This is... Wow, I didn't think I'd come across this this early. That's a beast egg! You'll never see wild eggs around here! Quite lucky you are! This is a rare opportunity! Try to catch it! 
Uh, what's an egg? It's just a baby right now, but someday it'll grow up to be a big monster. Of course monsters hate peoples, so they try to uh, harm us. But a monster raised from youth learns to protect its master. Uh... Beast egg. Trying to catch it right now... Uh... Might be a little difficult, because I have not made any... Oh, wait. It's, uh... I gotta feed it things. I either feed it monster meat or fruit. The type of thing you feed your eggs is dependent on what type they are. You can visually look at them and tell what they might need. This one's got predatory fangs on its eggshell, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that it eats meat. You'll encounter other eggs in the game that have, like, fins or feathers or, like, little platy, bony scales coming out of them, or basically you'll be able to look at these things and tell what might be the right food for them. When they're eating, they'll get bleh, distracted and then you'll be able to snag him up. Beast egg. Beast is the type of monster that it will become. You can't really tell exactly what monster it will grow up to be. They all look the same. Lies do well if they do not look the same. But if you look closely, you can tell what class of monster it belongs to. With some practice, you can differentiate between over ten types of monsters. Ten types. I'll try to catch it! Not so fast. You can't just haphazardly walk up to an egg. They're watching you. Thank you, Tim Curry. Go carefully and try to catch them off guard. Uh, carefully? First of all, don't stand in front of it. You'll only scare the poor thing. When scared, monster eggs run away at incredible speeds. Next, keep your eyes on the egg. That way you'll be able to tell what the egg is thinking. <gasps> hmm, do we need, really need more of an explanation? I can do it! I'm the colonel! Try using this! Dice berries! Sure. Bell grapes. Citrus quid. All of which will appear in my... orchard, uh, in time. I think... I think I have a few fruits now. Open the food selection list with the triangle button and drop it with the X button. I'll say it again. You can open the food selection list with it. You really don't need to. Triangle button. Can I... Monster Corral. Let's, uh... Wait a minute. First, let's approach the thing. You're, you're a scurd now, but wait till you see what I got for you. Um... It looks like a predatory type. Here's what I'm gonna do. Forgoing the things he just gave me. I got two of these. Hmm. It's watching you. How about it, little guy? You want some flesh? He like it. That means he's off guard. A beast egg is yours! Deliver a whelpy whelp to the corral I go! Whoa, Pelican Lady is fast! How about that? Alrighty. Excellent. How was that? Relax. Pelican will deliver the egg to the corral. Well, we better head to the corral, too. Excellent! Home teleport. Elazul, you just stand there and be quiet. Here we are in the backyard of your home. Yes, that's right. You didn't even tell me that. This is the monster corral. You can let up three monsters graze. Monsters will level up when you leave them grazing here. They'll grow up to become reliable partners for your journey. The monster eggs that you caught are in that barn. So let's go take a look at the barn. Let's do that. It's where you raise the monster eggs you catch. You might find a monster egg during an adventure. Capture an egg when you find one. You can have up to five pets. If you already have five pets and you find another egg, you can sell either the egg or one of the five pets you already have. Sell the one that you don't really like. Jennifer at the item shop will buy the eggs from you. She can be a tightwad, but she's the only buyer around. 
She is the only one I can pawn my creatures off to. And I am going to have piles of them. Big, stinking piles of beasts. Which normally sounds delicious, but unfortunately, I gotta allocate space in this place. Anyway, eggs hatch in a few days. Monsters become attached to their master and like to follow along. They grow more powerful by gaining experience. They can become great adventuring partners. Oh yeah, monsters' growth is affected by diet. Try feeding them different food to see what happens. Monsters will only eat when they gain a level, so you must let them graze or take them out for them to eat. Now you know what to do. How the monster grows up is up to you. Ja! Smells like onions in here now. Monster Corral, and... Hmm... Am I at home now? I'm on the map screen. I need to be here anyway. Alright, Elazul. It's about time to say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Do as you will! Twinkle. Get out of here. Let's see. Who do I need on my team? Bud the Warrior or Lisa the Mage? I think I get my choice here. I told you they'd be at my house, didn't I? After thinking it over, we decided to move on... Move in with you. Well, now. How forward of you to make that decision for me. Do you have anything else? Why not take me with you? I know I'll be you more useful than Bud. Actually, yes. Come on. Alright! Excellent. Voiced, what we're going to do is go upstairs and update our cactus status. Hey, you, get out of that pot. Mm, guess what I did today? Pet. That's right. I'm going to save. And when we come back, we're going to go ahead and move on to the jungle with our new partner, Lisa. Thank you for joining me again, guys, on another adventure of Le Legend of Mana. This is Akalis. See you guys later.